How to create a free Jira account. Hey everyone and welcome, we hope you're all doing great. In this video, we'll basically show you step by step how to create your free Jira account. This is going to be towards the people who are just getting started using Jira and they want to know how to actually you know sign up to Jira and how to get started and so um and so on. So basically, let's just go through the basics. Atlassian is a a company that has many different products, including Jira. So you will need to go ahead uh, and go to Atlassian.com, as you can see on the screen. Screen, screen. I mean, sorry. Uh, so as you can see on the screen, we have Atlassian.com, and now we can actually go ahead and see all the products that they have. We can just go to products, hover over there, and you can see we have Jira, which is the one that we're going to be talking about. We have Confluence, we have Jira Service Management, which is, which is a little different than Jira. We have Trello, uh, Jira Product Discovery, Compass, Guard, and Loom. So what we really want to do now to get started is we need to click on Jira. And also, if you want to sign up to the other platforms, uh, you can just click on them and do the same thing. But we are talking about Jira exclusively in this, in this video, so we can just click on Jira. So now that we have uh, the Jira page, we can see at lessing.com slash software slash Jira. This is going to be where we, um, after we sign up and everything, if we want to use Jira uh, and go to the dashboard, we will just go to atlassian.com slash software slash Jira or the other platforms as well, slash software slash Confluence, for example, and so on. So... Let's talk about the pricing first, because Jira does have a free plan, uh, which is the one that we are going to be talking about. So how to sign up to Jira for free, we're going to be using this one. Uh, but Jira does also offer two more plans, which is going to be the standard plan and premium plan. If you want to have a more uh, customizable uh, thing for your company, you can just go for the inter enterprise one for you know larger companies. So the free one allows you to uh, use it for forever and it's going to be for 10 users and you can actually see uh, the types of um, things that we actually actually get from the free plan. Unlimited goals, projects, tasks, and forms. So unlimited of those, which is very important and probably the most important thing here. Um, backlog, list, board, timeline, calendar, and summary views. Those are different views that we can actually use in the free version. Uh, which are going to be very, very useful for us and our, you know, uh, projects and uh, management and all of those things. Uh, it obviously is going to be play uh, is going to play a huge role in using Jira. The reports and dashboards are going to be available for free. Hundred automations per site per month, which is great. It's actually very, very great. Hundred automations per site per month. Um, we have two gigabytes of storage which is, you know, you would expect this from a free version. Uh, and then we have the support from Atlassian community. And we have the, uh, uh, you know, ability to add up to 10 users, which is great. So basically, uh, this is all that we have for the free plan. So we can just click on get it now to get started. And it's going to be a very straightforward signing up process. Now we can just go ahead and actually just add uh, our email in here. Now we can just continue using Google, Microsoft, Apple, or Slack. It's completely up to you. If you have an account, you could obviously log in, but I doubt it since we are just creating this tutorial. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, add my email real quick. So you just go ahead and add your email. And then from here is going to obviously send you a verification code. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually get it. I'll be using this one because it's just a tutorial. Uh, let me just get our verification code from our email. Just copy this code real quick and go ahead and paste it in the verification bar. And it's just going to take us to the next step. So here you would want to obviously create a full name and a password. So I'm just also going to be doing that. I'm just going to be adding uh, random stuff here. Uh, this is the thing that I have been using. For these videos and i will just also add the password and click on continue so after you add your password and your full name is going to take us to this page 
which is going to be naming your site. So you'd want to give it a name for your Atlassian um, domain, basically. So we would want to just go ahead and delete this and create a new name, which is suitable for you and your business, obviously. Um, I don't really have a name, and I think we would want to keep it a random because, you know, it was not even my email. So I'm just going to be keeping it this way. But obviously, you can go ahead and change it to something that is going to fit you and your business. So after we are done here, we just click on continue. And we will wait and give it a few seconds. Uh, and we will begin more stuff for the setup here, which is going to be more stuff about you and your team, your business and all of those things. So what kind of work uh, does your team do? You would want to obviously specify exactly what you do this way. Uh, it's just going to be more personalized for you and your team members. Uh, so we would want to just go ahead and do a few things. Let me just go back actually. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so don't go back from here. There was a button, but regardless, I'm just going to go ahead and continue and see if that is going to be available again for us or not. Regardless that, that, okay, there you go. But this is not like as important as you think. It's just going to be for personalizing your experience more. I'm going to go for project management actually. And now we have the select a template to get started. So we can select the project management template, scrum, Kanban, depends on how you want it to be. Obviously, if you have selected a different uh, thing, we can actually go ahead and do it as well. Now, let's say you actually do project management and also marketing. So you would be confused on how you would want to do both. It doesn't really matter. Like I said, this is going to be more personalized. So if you want to create later uh, a project for marketing, you can also do so and create it from a template. So do not worry. Uh, I'm just going to use this one, go for Kanban and click on start now. So basically select what your your team works on and select the template and click on get started. <clears throat> we just give it a second. Now it should actually create our profile for us and it should be ready to use. Okay, so now we have our first project which is just going to be created automatically for you so we would want to give it a name so my first project and then as you will need to answer one more question how familiar are you with Jira I'm just going to go for not familiar uh, or actually let me just do familiar so that they don't really bother me with uh, the tutorial stuff and they still do Anyways, so we can just go ahead and actually um, have our entire Jira account. It was completely for free. And you can see now we have our actual first uh, project, as you can see. Now, this is this project is for project management. So let's say you actually wanted to create a different uh, or multiple stuff. For example, your team also do does marketing and stuff. You would want to go to projects uh, and you will need to go ahead and click on create project. And here we can actually go ahead and create a new project. You have all the templates on here. So for example, if it's marketing, you just click on marketing and you have all of these templates to choose from. So just choose a specific template that you want and click on try this template and it's just going to create it for you. Uh, and this is pretty much how to set up or get started with Jira and how to create your free account. It's completely for free and I'm not going to continue with this bit. You get the idea. So it is completely for free as you can see. And if you want to upgrade, it's completely up to you whether you want to do that or not. I'm not going to go through the um, all the things that uh, Jira has to offer because that would take too much time. And this video is not really about how to use Jira. Uh, but you can just go ahead and see things for yourself. And, you know, the point of this video is how to create a free account and I'll show you exactly how to do so. So with that being said, I hope that you have found this video to be useful. And uh, this is pretty much all I have for you today. And thanks for watching.